Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 7. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. As all of you know by now, The Flash and all the other DC TV shows had to stop filming way back in March. That was like a thing. You know, with the virus going on and everything, we were totally expecting it to be shut down because like how can they continue under these conditions so they were shut down back in like mid-march sometime around then and so you know the flash wasn't able to continue its filming well its scheduled filming for the final three episodes which it had you know they didn't finish 20 they had 21 they had 22 22 was supposed to be the finale we were supposed to get some sort of storyline that was going to be set up with a cliffhanger with reverse flash so all of this was poised to happen but it never ended up happening and you know they haven't been able to go back to filming since and more recently we heard of stories of you know the cw and its shows are going to be able to return to vancouver like mid to late may and like return and actually film because it's better in vancouver but that never turned out to happen it didn't even turn out to happen in june because it's june 20th right now they're not going to return in the next 10 days or so you know until july so what is happening is the shows normally they film around like the end of june slash the start of july so the first few weeks of july just before comic con because comic con is normally like the weekend of the 20th sort of around then like the 21st is normally the saturday or it was last year so they have a few weeks before comic con so they can shoot some stuff like from the first episode release a trailer get people hyped at the panel you know all the stars come out and everything and it's amazing so we were kind of expecting oh this is probably going to be feasible like you know maybe vancouver lets the actors in but they have to quarantine for like two weeks you know that's fine even though most of the cast is american they live in america in like los angeles they have to fly up to vancouver you know they'll have insurance on them so like from the production companies and stuff so i don't think the virus is a big issue for them because the film sets are going to be very safe they have protocols and everything like that so it would be mainly down to getting everyone back and for everyone to actually quarantine and you know they're gonna have to figure out oh no we can't do this stuff where we're this close or something but if they all quarantine they can actually be close but as long as they don't like interact with people outside of the set basically you know if they have the close quarters of this group of people that are going to be filming they'll be fine if they quarantine because they know that they're not going to infect each other so they can do those close scenes and stuff like that so that would be fine and you know no worries about that obviously there is a big question mark regarding like you know can they do any of these big set pieces with loads of extras and everything like that i'm guessing no they can't do that they're probably gonna have to cut down on the main cast to be honest because it's gonna be very expensive and i don't know if everyone's gonna want to you know just isolate and then you know stay in vancouver most of the year until they're done with this filming you no know, obviously later in the year it'll be fine and then you know if things start getting back to normal they can have more cast members they can have more people around i don't know maybe like a vaccine is made and you know they can loosen the restrictions but for now it's gonna be quite strict but we were expecting oh you know they're probably going to be able to return to filming around you know late summer or something like that so around july end of july slash august was when we were expecting them to start but today well yesterday actually from when i'm recording this we found out that no it seems like the cw shows and this has been a rumor going around a lot we'll talk about some of the rumors but it seems like the arrowverse shows won't be coming back to actually filming until around september time because cameras johnson who is on batwoman he says that they're starting season two in the fall and you know the fall means autumn so that's like september october november i don't think they're going to wait till october and november because normally they film in the summer and so that would be a big jump and yeah you know they got time because the shows are going to be premiering in january of next year they could return later than expected however they would have probably planned to return in the summer and you know they want to get the most out of it like as soon as it's safe to do so they're going to return to film and so it seems more likely that the shows are probably going to return in september 
So let me know your thoughts and opinions on this in the comments. Did you expect this? Did you expect them to wait a bit longer than, you know, they could potentially do? Because film productions are opening, they're starting again. So I think they are definitely playing it safe by saying, oh, we'll wait till September or October or something like that. But, you know, that's a big thing. That means that potentially at the DC Fandom event, we probably won't get that much footage or trailer footage from any of our shows, apart from maybe The Flash and maybe Supergirl, because they still had some filming that they did for the final episodes, and they can cut together a trailer with that, because The Flash shot most of episode 20, episode 20 is going to be retooled and reshaped to make episode 1 of this season, they'll film some more stuff to make it a bit different, obviously they have to cut out Ralph and stuff like that, because, you know, they can't be doing that right now, and so it seems like you know, maybe that DC fandom event will get the trailer for The Flash Season 7 with the episode 20 footage, but you won't see any new footage that they filmed after the pandemic, basically, after, obviously the pandemic's not over, but like, you know, after they can return to film, so you won't have new footage or anything like that, that event, so don't be expecting that, unless, obviously, this is just you know, Batwoman scheduling, because, you know, they have to create this new character, they have to find a new actor, maybe they want to return later, and they'll return in the fall, and then, say, the other DC TV shows, like The Flash, and, you know, any of the other shows that want to return to film, like Superman and Lois, you know, maybe they return in the summer, but it makes the most sense, and the way that the CW normally schedules their filming for these Arrowverse shows and, you know, their shows in general on the CW is they pretty much film at the same time, unless it's going to be a different premiere date, and then they will film it later. So, like, Supergirl, Supergirl is not going to be filming at the same time. It's not going to be filming in September. This is obviously reliant on when Melissa comes out of her maternity leave, which is said to be around, you know, early November sometime around then, and then that's when Supergirl will start filming, so Supergirl is a different circumstance, but pretty much the CW normally films its Arrowverse shows at the exact same time, like a few days give or take from when they start their productions, but normally it's like, you know, the start of July, say The Flash starts filming a few days later, Supergirl starts filming, and then in the past, like, you know, Legends would, Arrow would, and that's how it would go. So I'm presuming with that logic of how they normally schedule their shows, the Arrowverse shows to film, probably with cameras actually confirming Batwoman's coming back to film, you know, next season, season two in the fall, you would have to presume like The Flash and Superman and Lois would start filming in the fall. Also, I'm pretty sure Bitsy Tulloch, who plays Lois Lane, on Superman and Lois and Supergirl and in the crossovers. She did an interview the other day and I'm pretty sure she talked about this and so I'm pretty damn sure the evidence adds up to make that, yeah, these DC TV shows are going to be returning around September time. So I won't lie to you guys, I was kind of shocked by this because I was totally expecting them to return in the summer due to, you know, what's happening in LA and some other places around the world like New Zealand, but New Zealand's completely different from like Canada or like America because it's doing so much better. Obviously Canada is doing much better than America because America is just doing terrible at the pandemic. They basically given up on it. So they're like, oh yeah, you can return to film, but you know, a lot of film productions won't actually return in America, but some will because you know, they're desperate. They need this footage. They need to come back. But you know, so compared to other places, Canada I guess, isn't doing so bad, and it looks like British Columbia, you know, the state where Vancouver is in, I'm pretty sure they are opening up and allowing filming sometime in the late summer, so around the end of July, we would say, maybe mid-July even, but definitely by August. So the CW shows would be able to return, and I was expecting them to just return as soon as they were allowed, but maybe with the September date, which I found, you know, to be like, whoa, okay, this is actually happening, I did not expect this, with that date, maybe there will be less restrictions, like, maybe they don't have to do the two-week quarantine, and maybe they've got some insight into that, and maybe that's why they're waiting, we'll have to wait and see, obviously, because that is in the future, that is in many months from now, so we'll have to wait and see, but anyway, so that is about it for this video, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you did enjoy it, 
this was some new news. You know, it's kind of rare at the moment that we're getting new news. But if you want to be included in some of these videos that we are doing over the break, over the very, very long break, we have to wait until DC Fandom to get, like, big information because, you know, that's when the panels are going to be. Some of the cast is there and they'll talk about the new seasons and everything like that and what they're going to be filming in September if we go according to what Cameron Johnson said just yesterday in regards to Batwoman returning. So we've been doing these new videos, these Q&A type videos. So if you want to be included in one of those videos, please be sure to go over to the community tab right now and leave your question, theory, topic or idea in the comments on the community page on the newest post. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.